Hello friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Return to Krondor. William is fighting some demons, and that's about all the information we have here. Um, uh, yeah. Talia's over there, demons over here. That's it, pretty much. Heroes of Aid. That's pretty enough. Right, you're dead, demon. We did it, Talia! It's over! Condor, though you have freed Talia's soul from being consumed by the power of Bear's amulet, your part in this is only begun. I swear by Kahuli, I will have my vengeance! I am Kahuli, the god of vengeance! And your love has called me. Because of your deeds, I can answer her prayers. You will not be alone in what lies before you. Don't worry, William. Talia, please stay. Say goodbye to me. Please. Crazy guy. Oh, Talia. Ah, oh, damn the luck. Well, better waking up on a sunny river bank than in Lim's Kragma's icy halls. I wonder how far the river took me. You were lucky to survive the river once, but I would not tempt the gods to try it twice. Stand and reveal! You've nothing to fear from me, my young friend. I saw you floating down the river and came to see if I could help. I appreciate your concern. But what brings you so deep into the forest? I'm from a small village near here that was destroyed by a mercenary group a few days ago. Bear? Yes. That is what the leader was called. I am William of the Krondorian Guard. I'm searching for this bear. I am called Sidi, and I too seek this man. Is your village completely gone? How did you get away? I have some magic available to me. I escaped by becoming unseen. I can heal you if you like. Can you help me find Bear? He's wanted in Krondor for murder. I'm sure the Prince would add your village to the list of Bear's crimes. I can use my magic to trace his followers, if not Bear himself. We will have him in no time. If it is within your capabilities, I could certainly use a good healer now. He's barely wounded. In my village, this was my means of survival. Others would bring me food, gold, whatever I needed. I have nothing to pay you with, but as soon as we can get to Krondor... I do not want or need gold. From you, I would ask that you repay me with vengeance. Against Bear? Yes. Bring me the amulet he wears, and I'll help you to take his head back to Krondor. Hmm. This guy knows a lot. And this is also the guy that was in that vision. Now, the vision... It's kind of hard to interpret. Plus, it's only a possibility of the future. It's not necessarily what's going to happen or what has happened. What do you know about this amulet Bear wears? The amulet makes Bear invulnerable to my magic. Perhaps all magic. But if you get close enough... Sir, I've seen Bear shrug off a mortal wound. This amulet makes him more than just immune to magic. All right. Well, he seems to be on our side. I don't usually like to rely on magic, but it may be the only way to defeat this villain. Done. That's better. Thank you. Now, how shall we find Bear and he his He wasn't men? even hurt. What is that, 12,500 experience that William got for this chapter? William, you are terrible. Anyway, he's got a two-handed weapon, so I'll just 
give him more skill there. To be perfectly honest, there's William's skills are completely irrelevant at this point. Doesn't matter where he put the skills. I could put it all into brawling, for instance. Yeah, brawling, blunt, a little bit of stealth, maybe. Good, great, cool. The witch of Haldenhead spoke at length of a magical device that caused the resistance to the guildsman's ship-raising ritual. This device, she told them, could be found deep within the bowels of an ancient and evil temple buried beneath Widow's Point. Her research into the temple suggested that it had been hidden, built long before written history. She had uncovered only a few legends regarding human sacrifices and ritual cannibalism. Pug. All right, so we're here at Hal the Haldenhead. Let's run back to the town for a second. See our old friends. Why? Well, what is it you want? Come on inside. And be quick about it. Oh, just because. I don't know if I'm going to come back to the town after I proceed in the game. Now, why would you be pestering an old woman like me when you have such an important task before you? We were wondering if you had any more information on the Black Pearl Temple. Yes! What more do you think you need? You saw it all right there in the fire, clear as day! What you know is all you need to know. Now's the time for action. And I can't do it, so that leaves you. <laughs> Maybe you're a powerful mage, what do I know? Fare you well, travelers, and be prepared. Your road will become far darker before it gets any lighter. What a great witch. Alright. Let's run over here. And let's talk... Wow. I can open that door through the wall. Cool. Talk to this guy. Ah, welcome back, friends. We thought you would be moving on now that you freed our town from the deception of Father Roland. We still have some business in the area. Well, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. You've earned at least that much, if not more, for the good you've done us. Thank you. Well, that's it. And I can stay in the inn for no reason. In case I just feel like staying in the inn. I might as well have a chat with Lynn. Well... Actually, I don't think there's really mm, much Lenore will have to say. She has something to say, though. Maybe she has uh, an angry diatribe to unload about the witch. Everyone get into position. You're the ones who killed Father Roland! And avenged your son's death. She still has you fooled, doesn't she? How can you still believe the witch is responsible? I know she killed my boy, and maybe Remy as well. I've not seen him in days. I will not rest until she's been destroyed. Then I will pray for you, woman, that Ishap may relieve you of the evil that has taken root in your soul. I have no need of your prayers. Probably just another diabolical trick like Father Roland. Well, you'll not have my soul. Be on your way. What a hostile woman. I guess there's nothing here. In the creepy department, we have this shack. Oh, sure, let's go back in here. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing more to be learned here. We should move on. And Solon informs us that there's nothing more to be learned here. Ugh, I agree. I realize that we're not really doing anything here, but I just like to hear what people have to say. Oh, look, we're actually looking at the shells. See, this would be a logical stance.
for before you look at the poison, but... Alright, he doesn't have anything much to say. Anything good in the alchemy department? Yeah, he's got all that tincture of vitriol. A little bit of aqua regia. Well, the truth is, I'm probably not going to be doing much brewing at all. Not very much brewing. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing and why are you doing it? Ah, so it's you. You have my thanks, friends. But go away. My dreams are still haunted, and I have no wish to tempt the fates. But go away. Nathan, you are a crazy one. You just can't... You're almost as bad as Lenore. I mean, you're a nice guy, but come on. Vampires gone. We are not vampires. Welcome back, friends. You'll be pleased to know that my daughter is doing better every day thanks to you. That's wonderful news. Where is your husband? He's at the forge today, catching up on all the work he put aside while our daughter was sick. And now, you must excuse me. I must return to my daughter. Please give it our regards. Farewell. Cool. So the daughter's doing well. And Nathan's no longer cowering in his house. At least not all day long. And Ward has returned to a generic shopkeeper's role. And here's Merrick over here. Who seems to be standing around, but I trust that he's got some important work that he's doing. And how do you do? Welcome, friends. I'd hope to see you again. I'm not a rich man, so I can't offer much, but I'd be pleased to fix any of your weapons or armor free of charge. Alright. Well, that's everyone in the village. Seems like the people left are happy. And there's no one at the pulpit. Alright, back to Widow's Point. So, this is the bottom of Widow's Point. We were up at the cliff there previously, and... Well... There doesn't seem to be anything down here. But the witch has clearly informed us there is an evil temple here. Which, I guess, is a little bit of a pixel hunt. I guess. Somewhere around here... There is great and diabolical evil. And we have this drawing, which the witch of Widow's Point supplied, which we're going to need. Well, doesn't mean much, but that's what it looks like. And this is the, shall we call it, reception area of a very evil temple. We'll touch that some other time. Here's the door to the evil temple. Oh, this is so weird. Next time on Let's Play Return to Krondor, we're going to carefully examine these things. And we're also going to carefully examine this door. It's not your typical door. Next time on Let's Play Return to Krondor. See you then.